Hello, I'm Ralph Gable of the Electronics for the Inquisitive Experimenter YouTube channel. This is the first in a series of short videos on basic electronic circuit analysis. In this first video, I'm going to cover the most basic foundational law that applies throughout all electronics. That is Ohm's Law. If you find this video helpful, Please click on the like and subscribe so that you will be notified when new videos come out. Well, when many people think about Ohm's Law, the first thing they think is meditation. Ohm. Actually, there is a man for whom the unit of resistance was named. He was a 19th century German physicist and mathematician. His name is Georg Simon Ohm. Now, if we pronounce it according to English, uh, pronunciation, we would say George Simon Ohm. He was a school teacher whose research began with the new electrochemical cell which was invented by the Italian scientist Alessandro Volta. He eventually created equipment of his own to discover the relationship between voltage and current in a given conductor material. He found that there is a direct proportionality between the potential difference or voltage applied across a conductor and the resultant electrical current. This relationship is known as Ohm's Law. In 1881, the unit of resistance was officially assigned the name Ohm in honor of his achievements. Let's take a look at this on the whiteboard. So here's a relationship that Georg Ohm discovered. Resistance is equal to the electromotive force over the current, or in more modern terms, we talk about the voltage in volts divided by the current in amps is equal to the resistance in, in ohms. Now, here is a very handy illustration that will help you to remember this relationship and be able to know how to use it. If you want to find the voltage, you cover up the voltage and that says that the voltage is equal to the resistance in ohms times the current in amps. If you want to find the current, you cover up the current and you know that the current in amps is equal to the voltage in volts divided by the resistance in ohms. If you want to find the resistance, you know that the resistance in ohms is going to equal to the voltage in volts divided by the current in amps. So let's do a, a couple uh, practice problems here. Here's our circuit. We have a battery and we have a resistor. Very simple battery and resistor. This has a certain voltage, this has a certain resistance, and flowing through here is a certain amperage. Now suppose that our voltage here is 10 volts. So V equals 10 volts. And we know that the resistor R is equal to 1000 ohms. Okay? So we want to find out what the current is. So we cover up the current and we find that the voltage divided by the resistance is equal to the current. So current is equal to the voltage, which is 10 volts, divided by the resistance, which is 1,000. And this equals 0 0.01 amps. Just as simple as that. All right, let's try another one. Let's say that the resistance, we, we want to find out what the resistance is in this circuit. We, we know that the, uh, the voltage, the voltage is 25 volts. And we know that the current is equal to five amps. And we want to find the resistance. Well, we cover up R 
and resistance in ohms is equal to voltage in volts divided by current in amps. So we know that the resistance is equal to the voltage in volts, which is 25, divided by the current in amps, which is 5. So we discover that the resistance is equal to 5 ohms. All right, one last one. What if we want to find the applied voltage? We know that the current in this circuit, the current in this circuit is 40, 0 0.04 amps. And we know that the resistance is 200 ohms. So what's the applied voltage? Well, again, we want to find voltage, so we cover that up. Voltage in volts is equal to the resistance in ohms times the current in amps. So the voltage would equal the resistance in ohms, which is 200, times the current in amps, which is 0 0.04 amps. And so the applied, the applied voltage would be 200 times this. So let's just do that math right here. 0 0.04. So for 0, 0, 8. And we go over to 8 volts. Now, I want you to notice something, that there are units that are used for all of these things. If we, we are talking about, and this is an important point, we don't want you to be confused by what's out there. 1,000 ohms is the same as 1 kilo ohm or 1 k ohm, 1 million ohms is equal to 1 meg ohm. Often they'll refer to this as just a 1 meg resistor. Now if you quickly do the math, you'll notice that 1000 k ohms is equal to 1 meg ohm. Now you notice the relationship three decimal places, and we can go in the other direction too. If we go 0 0.001 ohms is equal to one milliohm, or one one thousandth of an ohm. The same kind of things apply to current. We have one milliamp here. Remember we had that current that was 0 0.04 amps. Well, this is the same as 40 milliamps. So we don't want you to be confused at that. All right. So now you get to see Ohm's Law in action. So there you have the short and sweet of Ohm's law. It is the foundational law that is the undercurrent beneath all circuit analysis. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click on like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching, and until next time, toodaloots.